You may remember from a previous talk that I did about the electrical function of the heart, the bits that make it tick, the bits that make it contract, the electrics stimulate the heart. Now at rest, this ECG or heart tracing will give us some clue as to whether you've got narrowed arteries in your heart or whether your heart muscle is all right. But one stage further is to do an exercise test. Now this machine uh, is attached to a treadmill. Um, and this treadmill, as you can see here, will both elevate and get faster. Every three minutes it gets a little bit faster until we test you almost to destruction. Um, and while that's all going on, we can measure ECGs, look at them, look for changes, which we hope will bring out signs of uh, electrical problems, of heart muscle problems, of heart uh, artery narrowing problems, which of course we call angina and ischemic heart disease. Um, unfortunately, it's only about, at best, 85% accurate. So we need other tests to be sure whether you've really got heart disease. Unfortunately, also with this sort of test, people with high blood pressure who have a thickened heart muscle will also have an abnormal ECG and it will give a false positive. That is, it says you've got heart disease when you haven't. So there are all sorts of complications in interpreting it. But anyway, this is what we call an ECG exercise test system and it's one that we use routinely in all our medical screening work to see whether or not you've got heart disease.